Hey guys, what's up? It's Bailey here, back at you with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about meal planning and how I've been meal planning in eating disorder recovery specifically. Planning out my meals and food for the week is something that has been really crucial in my recovery. And I think for anyone who's uh, going through eating disorder, blah, 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 struggling with an eating disorder, planning food and meals is really important. As someone who struggles with a lot of anxiety, I have trouble with uh, making decisions about things in general. Um, and then especially when it comes to making decisions about food, that's something that I really struggle with so having everything planned out so I don't have to like panic in the moment and decide things in the moment um, yeah that's been really key so I'm kind of in a transition stage when it comes to meal planning because up until now I've had to be really kind of like specific and have like every single little thing planned out in my meal plan um, even like in terms of like measurements of things just because my meal plan has been really strict. Um, but I'm getting to a place now where I've been in treatment for a while and I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with things. So an example of something that I would have planned before it would be like on Tuesday, I'm having a grilled cheese sandwich. It's three slices of cheese on the sandwich and on the side I'm having uh, one cup of tomato soup and then to drink I'm having one cup of chocolate milk and like everything would be measured and all of that. And now I'm getting to a place where I'm craving like more normalcy in my life and when it comes to food. So I want to be able to, you know, plan things like I'm gonna have a sandwich and I'm gonna have a soup and a drink and then just kind of decide in the moment what I feel like having. This new way of planning, I haven't just like decided to do it. I've talked with my treatment team about it and they're in the loop on everything. So if you are in eating disorder recovery, make sure you talk with your treatment team or a professional about any changes that you're making. Again, this is not me giving professional advice. This is just, I'm just like meal planning and I wanted to share it, so don't come at me. <laughs> Part of the reason why planning is so important is so that I don't revert to old safety behaviors. I don't revert to, you know, picking safe foods all the time, um, avoiding foods that are scary, um, you know, lacking variety in my diet. I want to make sure I have all those things. So it's still important for me to plan um, somewhat. There's a very fine line between abandoning all planning and making sure I'm still doing enough planning where I don't fall down the slope that is very, very, very slippery. <laughs> As I'm editing this video, I just want to mention something. Meal planning used to take me literally hours. It was incredibly stress inducing. There would be tears sometimes. So I've come a long way with my meal planning. I never thought I would be able to sit down and film a video in like, I don't know, half an hour and just like do the meal planning in that time. So if you're at a place where how I'm doing my meal planning in this video seems impossible to you, then just don't worry, keep at it. It will get easier. I certainly just didn't arrive at a place where I've been able to do it like this. It took time and practice, so yeah. <laughs> So another thing that's been super helpful in uh, my meal planning is Randy and I have been ordering um, every week the good food boxes. It's really good food. The ingredients are, you know, they're always fresh and the recipes are like always consistently very good. Like it's actually something that I look forward to every week, the recipes, and it's helped in planning because like those three meals are like set for the week. And then it's also helped in like challenging certain things that I wouldn't normally like plan into my diet. And it also forces me to have like normal person portions and I don't have to worry about portioning things cause you know, whatever comes in the box, it's measured and that's just what I have to have. Normal eating is like my goal. So these boxes have been really helpful for that. And I'm super excited to be able to partner with them and offer you guys a code if you would also like to try out good food. Um, I, again, I highly recommend it. I really do look forward to their 
box every week. And so if you use my code here, you can get um, three free meals off your two first baskets. So it's a pretty sweet deal and I don't think you'll regret it. Also, my dad has been using good food as well since the pandemic because being in lockdown, we don't like to go to the store as much. And you know, it's just another thing you don't need to buy at the store because it just arrives at your house. So it helps with like if you're in quarantine too. I think you will enjoy them as well. So use my code, it'll be on the screen or below in the description. So this week's good food meals, we have shrimp tiki masala with roasted broccoli and peas. The next one is cauliflower walnut ragu with salad, which is good. Pasta is one of my like harder, more challenging foods. So I always try to plan it in regularly to make sure that I'm challenging it on a regular basis. The third box is lentil taboulet, I think that's how you say it, with salad. So those are three of my dinners for the week. So normally how I plan my week, um, I do it a week at a time and I plan like all my meals first. So I'll plan all my breakfasts, all my lunches, all my dinners, and then I'll kind of go in and fill in snacks. Because I already know three of my dinners um, from the good food boxes, I start with that. So I'm having the three that I mentioned. Um, the box gets here on Wednesday, so we usually do them Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, just so that the ingredients are like at their freshest. So I'll plan those in for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then I'll go back to Monday. So Monday, I think um, we're just gonna do something easy, like a frozen pizza and a salad. Tuesday, uh, I think we will do, I was gonna do like taco Tuesday, but we had tacos just like a little while ago. So um, sticking kind of with like the Mexican night theme, we'll do like quesadillas. Wednesday, I think we'll do um, a recipe that we've done before that is amazing. I will put it in the description. It's like a sweet potato dish with like chickpeas. I think there's like some feta cheese on it and like this really good like dill sauce. Oh, so good. Um, so we'll do that on Wednesday and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday are the good food boxes. And then Sunday, um, I'm gonna leave that blank and I'm gonna let Randy pick on that day what he wants to have for dinner. That's another thing that's been really helpful in my planning is I let Randy pick something so that I'm not having all the control over it all the time because control is another thing that I really struggle with. I struggle like letting it go and not having all of it. So I intentionally make sure that Randy has some control. Okay, and then for breakfast, um, because I've done a lot of meal plans like in weeks prior, I usually just kind of go based on like my past meal plans and kind of like repeat things and um, I like to make sure I get enough variety, but it was also like at the beginning of my treatment, coming from like a starvation kind of mindset, like every meal had to be like perfect and I had to have like the perfect amount of variety. I had to try all these new things all the time. And like now that I've been eating more like healthy and regularly, that's not as big of a thing anymore. So I don't have a problem with like repeating things. And I think that's more normal just to like for, I don't know, ease. Um, being able to have like the same meals or like leftovers is super normal. Um, so I try to do that too. So breakfast, I usually have like the same things throughout the week. I'll kind of alternate between like toast with peanut butter and then like some yogurt and berries and granola. Overnight oats is a really good one that we have a couple nights a week. It's super easy, you can get prep it the night before. We might do like avocado toast with eggs. Another day we might just do like something super easy like cereal and to make sure I have like some protein in there, I'll put like a side of almonds and then I'll do like a banana as well. And then on the weekend, we'll do something a little more like kind of like fun, so like a smoothie smoothie bowl or uh, blueberry waffles or something like that. And then moving on to lunches. Monday I think I will do like an entree kind of meal salad with a protein smoothie on the side. Tuesday I think I will do a sandwich and a soup. Wednesday I'll say a wrap and veggies with hummus. I know that's kind of specific but whatever. Thursday I will do a bagel and Actually, no, Wednesday, I'll change it to Thursday, we'll do like a bagel and 
veggies and hummus again. Friday, I'll do another entree salad with a smoothie, I guess. And then on the weekend, we'll do something more like fun. I don't know, homemade pizza on like a pita, like a Lebanese style pita and a side salad. And then Sunday, maybe I'll do that Sunday. And then Saturday, I will let Randy pick. Yeah. Okay, and then for snacks, I think I'm gonna plan out about half of my snacks and the other ones I'll leave blank to pick in the moment. Because I struggled a lot with making decisions about things, I would plan in snacks and then I would see everything laid out and I would start to switch things around and then I would start to second guess that and I'd switch things around again and I'd take things out and put in new things and like, it was a disaster. So my treatment team recommended this kind of like picking out of the hat method. And these are not hats, these are Ziploc bags, as you can see. And so I just put like a bunch of snack ideas in here and then I just like pick out of the hat. So for my afternoon snack, which is between lunch and dinner, on one day, I will have Randy picks. <laughs> so Randy's gonna pick my snack on, let's say, Monday. Okay, and then we'll pick another one. Veggies with hummus. So I'll put this on a day where I'm not having veggies and hummus with lunch, so I think Tuesday is fine. And I'll pick two more, let's say. Toast with peanut butter. And again, this makes it super easy where I just pick it and even if I don't think I'm gonna like it, which could happen because there's some more challenging items in here for me, then it's too bad, so sad for me, I just gotta have it. Nuts and yogurt. So I'll put those in and then the other ones, I will just leave blank so I can pick them in the moment. This is for evening snacks. So this is a snack that's after dinner before bed. So first one we have is, this is a more <laughs> challenging one. So it's a good thing I picked it because I need to challenge things that are still challenging. It's Nutella and banana. So that'll be one that's going in, even though I might not like it. It's fine. We picked another challenging one. It's fine. We're here to challenge it. Um, fudge sickle and fruit. That's just, it's just gonna go in because I picked it. Doesn't matter. And Cheerios. <sighs> chips. It's fine, chips are delicious. A lot of people love chips. If I'm being honest with myself, I also love chips. There you have it. That's basically how I plan my meals and snacks and food for each week. Um, once I'm done planning that, then I go and I, we've been doing the online grocery pickup just because it's super easy and it's a lot safer. And so we just put in our grocery order online and then we usually pick it up on Wednesdays. Not that you care. So I hope this was, um, interesting or helpful if you are also um, going through eating disorder recovery or you know have issues with food and you think planning might be helpful. I hope it was helpful. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. I hope the next video you'll be more interested in. I don't know, I'm just here doing my thing. Make sure you check out those good food boxes because I swear you will like it and it's super convenient and like the recipes are great and you can keep the recipe cards and then you can just like make them on your own afterwards if you don't want to keep doing the good food boxes. So honestly, you can't lose. Other than that, there's nothing else. So I'll see you in the next video. Before I go, someone wants to say hi. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, you can't even see her face. Get this elephant out of the way. Get this elephant out of the way. Say hi. Say hi. Okay, and we're going now, so say bye. Say bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>